Hey, welcome to Two Minute Crafts. We are gonna make some super easy felt flowers. Let's go. Okay, super, super simple. All you need is some felt. And honestly, the thicker the felt, the better. However, I don't have any super thick felt and we're on quarantine, so we're gonna do what we can. So you need felt, a glue gun, and then a pattern. As you can tell, you have one big circle and one small circle. And the key is the small circle needs to be able to fit in the big circle, like all the way, if that makes sense. You know, if I had a smaller circle where these little notches were, um, it would fit inside. You need to cut out four of your big circle and then one or maybe two of the small circle. When I was using super thick felt, I only needed one, but since this is a little bit thinner, I might need two. So after you cut out four bigs and one or two smalls, oh, also you can cut out a little leaf. Um, you won't see the leaf very much, here's an example. But uh, it's pretty cute. Okay, so, Cut out your felt. If you're drawing on your felt, you will see the pen marks. So make sure you cut all the pen marks off. Okay, now we're gonna start folding. Okay, I should have mentioned for something to clamp these clothes when you're drying would be helpful. Uh, clothes pins, chip clips, binder clips, whatever you got lying around. All you're gonna do is like a two-step process. Take it and fold it in half. And then we're gonna put some glue like right here in the middle. And I mean, you can hold it if you want to, or just kinda clamp it closed. You know, it will dry in like five seconds. So we'll do that to all six of our pieces. And then we're gonna come back and fold it again. This time putting glue right here. So eventually you're gonna have these little things. So fold it in half, glue it closed, fold it again, glue it closed. And then again, unless you wanna hold this, just kinda clamp it closed and wait for like a couple seconds. So let me do that and then we will assemble it. We're almost done. Okay, now we're gonna glue the four bigger pieces together to make the base of the flower. So I usually like to fold, not fold, glue this part together. So do that for all four of these. And then we're eventually going to, um, you know, put it together. So it's like a little circle. So I'm gonna glue, clamp, and here's where I'm really gonna glob on a lot of glue on the bottom. You can see as I'm gluing the four together, I'm curving it a little bit because you want kind of a little, a little cup of a flower. Now on the back, I'm just gonna glob the sucker with hot glue. Really go crazy on the back because you know, why not? Okay, here's where you can decide if you're gonna use one or two of these small pieces. Kind of like fluff it a little bit. And you're just gonna glue it in the middle. So if you think that looks fine, go for it. If you wanna cram two of them in there, go for it as well. I'm gonna cram two of them in there. So just, you know, pop some glue in here and glue it down and you're pretty much done. And then honestly, at any point, just slap the uh, little leaf onto the back. I mean, that's it. The hardest part by far is just cutting and tracing and cutting and tracing around all these things. Um, but it comes together pretty quick and like super cute. What am I gonna do with this? I have no idea, but actually I kinda like this idea. 
All right, like, subscribe. You know how this works.